Hello, my name is Lola B. Morgan, and I come to you today on behalf of First Unity Spiritual Campus. Most of you may know me as an author, a motivational speaker, a sister, a friend, but most importantly, a leader within our communities. Today's message of the crisis and the opportunity to reveal and heal racism, I wanted to share a glimpse of how racism systematically affects our communities and perpetually affects the minds of those within it. In my youth growing up, there were many times where I felt as if I had to wear a mask long before COVID-19 came about. A mask that felt embedded by the notion that I was a young black girl growing up in a society that would ridicule, judge, or prevent me from pursuing my dreams, for having a voice, or for being present. <laughs> Don't be too loud, they say. Don't be too bold. Learning which situations that I would be able to fit myself into in order to be susceptible within society. It's not quite an environment that many cultures have to coach their children into. In today's society and throughout our current pandemic, most importantly, throughout our social injustice, it is important that you understand that black lives do matter. Black lives do not matter only because <laughs> we exist, the color of our skin. The, it's because of the inhumane way that we have been treated countless times by the people, most importantly, that should show up to serve and protect us. It's been revealed time and time again, over centuries, over decades, racism has been revealed. 2020 has allowed an awakening, an extra insight for those who may have chosen not to see. But how do we heal? Hmm. We start here in our homes. We start here in our hearts. We start here and our minds, and most importantly, we start with our voices. I wanna thank those who have been hmm, tremendous in their support and efforts for taking a stance in regards to the social injustice and the police, police brutality that has taken place in our society. I pray that you look to your friends, your peers, your loved ones, and listen to them, understand them when they say that they are not okay. It can be from a mental perspective. It can be from a physical perspective. I think it's time to stop and listen and allow our voices to be heard. Now is a time more than ever where there are people in this world where we need your support, your love, more than just your empathy. Black lives do matter. Trans lives do matter. We all matter, but most importantly, the fight today is about black lives. How do we heal after the world has revealed itself? It's a good question you should ask yourself. How do you intend to allow the world to heal? Are you starting with your children? Are you starting with your spiritual groups? <laughs> Are you starting with yourself? What do you tell yourself every single day 
when you wake up in the morning. There are many people that look like me that sometimes have to coach themselves or their loved ones to protect themselves like armor on what you do and how you can maneuver throughout society. <laughs> this is what your day should look like. This is what you don't do. This is how you speak to those who may have questions for you. Not quite the way that our world should continue to be, right? It starts with us. This is our struggle as a collective. And it's time for us all to come together. I thank you. And namaste.